The PRI, we don't see as an indebting uh, mechanism. We are only seeing the benefits, really. The biggest challenge, really, with this question of dollar is use of certain currencies for things which are not financial, political means, like unilateral sanctions. The issue of uh, BRICS expansion is uh, not new. As you know, South Africa is the first beneficiary of expansion in 2010, right from its inception. BRICS uh, was never conceived as an exclusive club. <laughs> I don't know what is their trap now, <laughs> I mean, but uh, as far as we're concerned, um, even before the 10 years ago when we put this PRI, the African countries were heavily indebted, uh, not from the British countries or from China, uh, from other developed economies. So they are facing a huge debt burden since then. Uh, the PRI, we don't see it as an indebting uh, mechanism because, first, the way we treat each other, particularly China, when it comes to Africa, is a relation of mutual respect. Any debt can be paid, and uh, China, we've seen them restructuring debt so that they are becoming more sustainable. And now we are seeing African institutions uh, working with Chinese institutions to do better project preparation. What we have seen with the BRI, I'll come to South Africa now, in Africa, is a massive expansion of our infrastructure, which was not there. Previously, the colonizing government was just extracting. They were building infrastructure to the port. Now we're finding infrastructure connecting the cities within the country so the goods can move easier. We are also seeing connecting to the neighbors so that we can trade with each other. So that's very important. That's a huge benefit yeah. which is coming out of the Belt and Road Initiative. Yeah. It is in line with our own continental developmental agenda called Agenda 2063 which prioritizes infrastructure and international cooperation so that we increase manufacturing, production, and trade, first among ourselves and then with the world. So there's no conflict from the African's perspective. We are only seeing the benefits, really. The, the biggest challenge, really, with this question of dollar or no dollar, it's not a dollar is a currency. It's use of certain currencies for things which are not financial, political means, like unilateral sanctions. When you apply unilateral sanctions, which are not mandated by UN, and uh, they start having impact on all of us, we then must look for alternative yeah. trading system, alternative cross-border financing mechanism yeah. or transmission mechanism. So that's what is at the, uh, at the center of these discussions. Now, <clears throat> let's take uh, the issue we are facing now in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. Sanctions are not against Russia, are not, uh, are not UN sanctions. But they are having huge impact in my own continent of Africa and elsewhere in the developing world. The food prices, the oil prices, all of those got these huge inflationary pressures in our communities. Yet we are not involved in that war. We are far from it. So the putting of these sanctions then have got this ripple effect to all of us. And uh, we have to cushion ourselves against these uh, global destabilizations. Uh, we have to have a fairer trading system and paying mechanism as kind of transport uh, financial flows. The issue of uh, 
BRICS expansion is uh, not new. Mm -hmm. As you know, South Africa is the first beneficiary of expansion mm -hmm. in 2010. Mm -hmm. We're very grateful that it was China who proposed this and mm -hmm. other BRICS countries accepted us. Uh, then we changed from BRIC to BRICS. <laughs> uh, so it is important because right from its inception, BRICS uh, was never conceived as an exclusive club. It was pushing a developmental agenda. That's why it's called a partnership. Yeah. It's not a block. So that's what uh, uh, drives us, that we should uh, believe in uh, expediting global trade other than uh, protectionism. Why is this surge? First, most of these developing countries are expressing serious problems which are not being addressed by the global institutions. Today we are faced with climate change, we are faced with financial crisis, we are faced with pandemics. Uh, pandemic uh, really exposed uh, uh, this divide between the rich and the poor. Uh, the, the poor were struggling even to get vaccines because the rich countries were holding vaccines. So if it was not uh, the good cooperation between President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa and President Xi Jinping, who was so kind to donate a lot of vaccine to the African continent, some of those African countries couldn't have had any access to vaccine. We know also there were donations to other South America, the Asia, and all other developing countries. And now we have got this vaccine center in, in our own capital in South Africa. Mm -hmm. We're spearheading with China, but it's for all BRICS countries mm -hmm. uh, to do future research for, for pandemics. Uh, we are collaborating on these things and the, the developing countries are noticing this. The second element is that the Benefits of being BRICS members are being seen and witnessed by the other developing and emerging economies. So all our trade has increased, uh, which then translate to direct benefits to the people on the ground. When they get jobs, when they get economy growing, we get it. So, so the, this is of interest uh, to, to other developing nations. We are in partnership which precious peace than conflict. And uh, we say when there's a conflict, sit around the table, discuss, listen to each other. And uh, uh, oh, this is a, a noble aspiration by all peace-loving and de particularly developing nations. When President Xi Jinping talks of a, a global community of a shared future for mankind. That's what we all believe in as BRICS countries, that the international solidarity is quite key uh, in terms of uh, making sure that we all rise. We don't develop at the expense of other countries, but we have a win-win development where the countries we are helping or trading with are also developing and having benefits. So that's what we talk about, this shared future for mankind. Mm -hmm.